In this video, we're gonna look at some software techniques to bring some color back into your underwater photos. So in a recent diving trip, I was able to pick up a super suit. I just spent this $78 on a super suit for a GoPro camera. They're selling a Hero 6 in here for a thousand bucks. So Australia, I gotta say, you guys are getting ripped off when it comes to GoPro stuff. But I didn't get a red filter for it. So all of the photos I shot were very washed out and super, super blue. I knew this was gonna happen going in, so I purposely made sure to shoot all of my photos in GoPro's RAW format, or GPR, as it allows me more flexibility in post to bring that color back in. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. If you've got an up-to-date version of Photoshop or Lightroom, your life is pretty easy. Basically just open up the photo and it'll open up right into Photoshop or alternatively, alternatively you can do this in Lightroom. The setting up, setup and the steps are exactly the same. If Lightroom or Photoshop doesn't support the .gpr file that the GoPro shoots, you're gonna to have to convert it into a digital negative or an Adobe DNG file. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the video when we look at the ways we can do this for free. So this is going to open the photo up in Photoshop and the two sliders we're going to worry about to bring the red back in are the temperature and tint sliders in white balance. And what's so great about shooting in RAW is that we have a lot more flexibility in just how far we can push and how much control we have over the white balance. So basically we just take the tint slider, slide it up to the right, pretty much 150 all the way up to the right. And then really you just kind of bring up the temperature, bringing in more and more yellow in the shot until it gets back to looking natural. Now you don't want to go too far on the temperature scale because what you can do is you'll actually make the water look white and you really do want to leave some of that deep blue in the water. So once you're happy with how it looks, if you've had to push the white balance a long way up, you will often find the image is overexposed. So you're gonna to wanna to bring a little bit of that back in. And then it's just those little tweaks, a little contrast boost, and maybe add in a little bit of either vibrance or saturation. And just like that, we've got our final image. Super quick to do, but you can't really write a script to do it or just create one profile and apply it to all your images as depending on what depth you're at, and what kind of water you're in, you are gonna have to tweak those white balance settings uh, for every single photo. Once you're done inside of this camera raw dialog box, you can either open the photo into Photoshop to allow you to create more edits to it, or you can just save the image right out of camera raw as a uh, JPEG file so it's easy to share and easy to view on your computer. Lightroom has the Adobe Camera Raw integrated directly into it, so those same sliders exist just on the right hand side panel under basic controls you'll find absolutely everything you need to make those same tweaks to the photos. This works great if you have the latest versions of Photoshop or Lightroom but if you're running older versions of those programs or if you don't if you're not running them at all and you're looking for a way to do this without paying for software there is a way to do this completely legally and completely for free. The first step is to convert the native GoPro RAW file into a more generic RAW file. And we're gonna do that using what's called Adobe DNG Converter. And this basically takes the RAW file that the GoPro camera captures and converts it into an Adobe Digital Negative. And it is a much more widespread, widely used RAW image format. You can get the Adobe DNG RAW Converter for free off their website. Links for that are down in the description, but basically you load the DNG Converter. You select the folder where your files are located, hit select, and then hit convert. And this will take all of the GoPro GPR RAW files and convert them into Adobe DNG files. And now we can use a free raw photo editor such as UF Raw, a nice free program that can easily be used to edit raw files and also is able to open Adobe DNG files, but not 
the GoPro RAW file. So we take these DNG files, we drag them into UF RAW, click on the first one, click open. The photo opens up in a dialog box that looks very similar to the Adobe Camera RAW, but with the sliders on different sides. So you can go down here to Camera, White Balance. You can either go Camera, Manual, or Auto. Auto in the UF RAW seems to do quite a good job, although it does seem to carry it a little bit too, make the photo a little bit too warm. So you can see, you can grab the sliders here, and then you've got some basic exposure controls. Then the only trick with this program is before you go and hit save, you have to come into this little floppy disk panel here and change the save preferences to JPEG. Otherwise, it'll save as a PPM, which is some in some special format for this program, which is impossible to open anything else. So change that to JPEG, hit save, and that file will show up beside wherever your uh, DNG file was. So we can see here now we have the GPR, which is the original GoPro RAW file. We've got the Adobe DNG file, which we created using Adobe, Adobe DNG Creator, which will both allow this photo to be opened in UF, uh, yeah, UF RAW, or basically any version of Photoshop going way, way, way back and it'll open up in that Photoshop's camera raw. And it'll also mean that if you want to import this into an older version of Lightroom, you can do that using this DNG file. And then finally, we've got the JPEG that was created by UF Raw. So if you want to do it completely for free, it's a couple more steps, but you can do first step is to convert it into a DNG. And then once you've gotten a DNG, you can use a camera raw editor to make it into a, uh, a JPEG and tweak the white balance to bring back some of that red color. Of course, if you wanted to, you could do this using a red filter. It would get you much, much closer and mean that if you shot JPEGs and stuff, you'd be able to tweak them a little bit in post to get the images to look perfect, but you wouldn't have to do the same massive adjustments that are needed when you shoot underwater photos without any filters at all. Also, if you're gonna be shooting any video underwater, a red filter is a really, really good idea as the white balance changes to video are much more difficult and there's just not as much information in the video as it is in these raw files. But if you're gonna go no filter, uh, underwater photos shoot in raw and then you are able to recover most of that information in the post just using those white balance sliders inside of whatever program you decide to do. So there it is guys, there's a quick video showing you how to recover uh, and how to fix your underwater photos using well, a variety of different solutions. If you've liked it, get subscribed, check out the channel for lots more videos, and if you've got any suggestions on how you do this, leave them down in the comments. Until next time guys, thank you very, very much for watching.